the magical, the mystical, and why you should probably think about keeping manifesting to yourself. Hello and welcome to Manifest Mindset by Affirm, Affirm, Attract. Your place to come to when you need tips and advice when manifesting. We are an affirmation channel and you can find all our affirmation videos on YouTube. Hello Manifest Mindset listeners, Affirm, Affirm, Attract practitioners. How are you today? Thank you for tuning in to Manifest Mindset. I'm going to be chatting about the magical, the mystical and why you should probably try and keep manifesting to yourself. Well, let me do, I'm going to push on, I'm going to dive right into it. I'm going to start with keeping manifestation to yourself. There's a few reasons why. <clears throat> It's a waste of time talking to people who don't believe you. You don't need to prove anything to them. You just need to live the life that you want to live. And the proof is in the pudding. pudding. And sometimes it can burn you out and really take up a lot of your energy and time explaining to people who don't want to believe. Yeah, you can say to them, but you manifest anyway. Like You don't have to consciously, it's just you do it naturally. They won't get it. And what can happen, two things can happen, is it's going to burn you out and you get frustrated um, and they'll be like, well, prove it, prove it. Why is your life still sucky? Why are you still single? Why haven't you got no money? And there's only so many times you say, but I'm working on it. I'm learning as I go along. Those type of people, they only want to see proof. And if you're struggling to get to where you want to get to, they'll be like, mm-hmm, manifestation works right. Or they throw it in your face like, oh, well, then why don't you just manifest it if manifestation just believes, you know, if you believe in manifestation so much. And what can happen is eventually it can wane on you and next thing you know, you just start to doubt. Like you believe manifestation happens and you believe, yeah, because you've heard stories, you may, might even had some success yourself. But you might go into the negative state, oh, you know what, manifestation's not working for me, I believe it works, but for some reason it's just not working. And you end up getting into that negative mindset. So that's a reason to kind of keep it to yourself. Number two, if you share it with friends or family who believe that you believe it, but they support you anyway, um, talking to them over and over again, they will support you because you believe it. But you're going to get that energy, it's like, yeah, but this is for you, it's not for me. And again, it comes back to proof and providing proof. Um, eventually, it can wane on you and you can start looking yourself through their eyes. And if you're on your journey, you're struggling, but you believe in it, um, they look at you like, mm, but you're still poor. Oh, but you still haven't got a partner or your business is still struggling. And eventually, if you start looking at them through their eyes, look, looking at them at you at, through their eyes, you will start to believe those negative thought patterns and then you can start going down the road that you don't want to go to, that mm, manifestation not work, affirming is not working for me, rampaging isn't working for me, listening to subliminals not working for me and you can go down that dangerous path. Yeah, so that's another reason that you should try and keep manifestation affirming for yourself because sometimes people want proof and let's face it guys even when you deliver proof it's always oh, a coincidence oh you're just lucky some people would just straight up just don't want to believe so my goal my goal my advice is go on your journey for those of you who are struggling to manifest consistently you might get little bits here and there focus on you don't worry about anybody else if other people are struggling and you can kind of read them out and you know they're not gonna you know take this information in or if you you mention it and they're like I don't believe in that cut it off and just leave and just say okay it's it's, it's okay Remember, this is your journey. You don't owe anybody anything to be on your journey. They don't have to be in your journey. Yes, it's painful when someone's struggling and you want to give them tools to help them. But sometimes the best help you can get is the proof in the pudding. And if they continue to fob it off with, oh, it's only luck, it's to say, well, look, I can't tell you anything more than what I'm telling you. This is what I've done. This is what's worked for me. If you're definitely interested, give it a go. It can't hurt you. Yeah, and that's it. Now... One of the reasons why a lot of people don't believe in this stuff because it's too mystical and magical for them. I'm going to use those words because, you know, how can thoughts become things? I don't know. Why don't you look in your hand with the mobile phone in it? Why don't you look at the cars that you see when you walk down the street? Hey, guess what? We've got this big 
10 ton with a airplane that goes into the air that takes passengers from one country to another how did that happen why thoughts became things the computers the laptops the coloring pencils the biros the fountain pens the electricity come on we've got electricity that flows through and connects and you know all the lights and stuff like that how did that happen someone sat there and i don't know i mean i don't know how I don't know my history to say how the thought process of that person and, you know, and how it came about and and all the rest of it. But we are living evidence of the magical and the mystical. Yeah, because I sometimes sit there and I think, I'm talking to someone on this phone. There's no wires, right? And even though now people can break down to you how it works, we kind of forget it's still a magical, mystical thing. It is still magical. It's like, but I'm still, how did that person come with the idea? Why would someone come with the idea and then it just travel when it develops and then here we are? You know, first it was a corded one, then it was a non-corded phones and then it was mobile phones and then here we are, you know, living the magical and the mystical of this world. <laughs> Now, putting aside other people and everything else, sometimes as well, even for ourselves, we, we, we doubt. Sometimes we get very frustrated with life and we just think, this is just all rubbish. It's not working. Um, you've, you've seen the six stories. You've heard the success stories. You believe in the success stories. But for you in your own little world, you just think, but why isn't it happening for me? You know that you might have some resistance pent up. You know that you go into your negative thoughts instead of combating with some positive affirmations. We know we do this stuff. But there are times when we think we just want a little break. We want a sign. We want something, you know, especially when you've got aspects of your life and everything is just going wrong. Just everything is just, or it doesn't have to go wrong, but it's just not working out. You know, there's not one aspect of your life, apart from the fact that your breathing is really working out for you. And your your own doubts and your own um, negativity can set in. And this is when we got to kind of just say, but listen, I'm t look, watching the computer. I'm on the phone. I have a TV. We've got radio. We've got mobile phones. We've got cars. These are thoughts that turned into things at some point and they've been developed over time and they've improved and they've got more inventive and they've got more stylish. Yeah, we've got rulers, we've got colouring pencils, we've got glue sticks. Do you understand? Like, we take these things for granted because they are already, they were here before we were born, some of the stuff. And then we've got um, history behind it. But we never ever ever think or we hardly ever think but it is still magical and mystical because someone had to have started the thought process why would someone start the thought process now don't get me wrong when you are working in different fields um ideas come of what you would like to happen that's why we have tools wouldn't it be easier to have something that i can drill a hole through concrete you know, and then that's how ideas develop. Oh, you know what? Wouldn't it be easier to to um, have something to carry your 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 tools in, and people in would devise a strong bag? And some things might say, yeah, but that's obviously that's going to happen. Maybe, maybe not. But someone still had the thought process, and their thought turned into reality. Because what they did is that they believed in it, they wanted it badly enough, they believed in it, and they worked on worked on it until it came true. Now, there's some cases in life where people might have started stuff, and people have died, and other people have taken up the mantle to um, continue just whatever we have now. I mean, when you look at, we've got glasses, you know, people were drinking out of wooden cups or leaves, depending what part of the world you're from you know people will eat with their hands people still eat with their hands and then you've got cutlery we've got plates and then from the basic stuff it's design came into it and fashion and style we've got all different plates different shapes different colors different patterns yeah thoughts become things and my folks i'm here to tell you we live in a magical mystical world just by being surrounded by the things that we have, the chairs that we have, the cushions. Someone decided to pluck feathers from a bird and stuff it into material to sit on. Someone thought about that. 
yeah it's it may seem oh well that's not really hard to think about but there's loads of simple and easy st- okay let me example go on youtube there are thousands of topics thousands of topics on the interweb right there are videos out there on the interweb that I myself will think no one would ever watch that. No one will be interested in watching that. And yet still, these people have tens of thousands of subscribers, tens of thousands of views on their videos on different subjects. And these are just stuff that you just would never think that people would necessarily be interested in. And someone sat there, they thought about it, they did it. And it became something. And then other people caught on. They also started their channels doing the same thing. And it got on. So, for example, let's think, let's look at mukbang. People sitting there, eat people eating, crunching away. I mean, I've watched some mukbang videos, yeah, where people just eat. I've done some ones, watched ones where people are having a conversation. And for some reason, you know, you can be drawn in. It's not for everybody. I didn't really think it's for me. But then again, I didn't think it's not for me. It was just something that was there. I wasn't, didn't pay much attention to it. But who would have thought, sitting down, filming yourself eating, and people will be interested in that. Listening to the crunch if it's ASMR. ASMR. I mean, it just, it kind of blows my mind. Or walking. Just walking. Not even going to any prominent places or places that are of, of interest. Just walking. Look at the study videos that we have here. Yeah, we got people, oh, study with me for an hour, and there's people studying. There's not even any music. Like, when there's music and stuff, you get it. Sometimes there's not even music. It's just them literally, you know, they got their notes, they got their computer, and they're doing their study, and I'm just like, wow. I mean, I'm a very, very, very creative person, but I wouldn't have bloody thought that. I wouldn't have thought that, oh, my gosh, people are really would, would sit down and watch these things. You know, and today I sit there and I think, do you know what? You can do almost anything and be a success at it. No, you can do anything and be a success at it. Some people will be more successful than others, I grant you. Um, I do believe, um, you know, some things might work quicker than others and some doesn't mean you're not going to be successful, just that yours might take a little time. Why, I don't know. That's for the great divine to answer you. I do not know. But, again... Think about it. even that itself is magical and mystical because you just things that you would never think. Someone showing you how to make a chair, yeah, you know there's gonna be an audience there. Someone how to lose weight, yeah, you think you know there's gonna be an audience there. Someone show you how to clean tough stains of clothes or furniture or whatever, yeah, you believe there's gonna be an audience there. A lot of practical stuff, yeah. Something teaching you to draw, sing, paint, um, DIY stuff, making clothes. But things like, oh, study with me, or just walking yeah who knew yeah but yet still is out there someone's thought became things it doesn't have to be so far-fetched it doesn't have to be out of this world but if you break down that thoughts become things in its simplest form it might just help you to get to where you want to be if you want to start a business it's like but there's Focus on the p- businesses that have started. Focus on the businesses that are successful. They don't. You don't have to be a multi-billion or million company. You just want to start and have your customers or clients. Yeah, it can happen. You know, don't focus on oh, forty-five percent of businesses fail in the first month, and then this amount fail in the first. Don't focus on that. You focus on that, then you're focusing on your a failing business before you've even started, and you might have a, a successful thriving business, but you will never know that because you're focusing on that. Yeah. So think of it like this: thoughts become things in everything. The glass you drink out of, the cup. I mean, someone sat there, right, and they made pasta. Who in, they sat there and they made pasta. Yeah, they got the ingredients and voila, there was pasta. And you've got pastas in all types of forms now. Yeah, like people might think, oh yeah, but no, there's no but. We had our basics, wheat. We had corn and we had vegetable. We had basic foods and we had our meat. So you cook it and you eat it. But someone somehow managed to make butter. Someone managed to make cheese. And from the butter... And mixed with other ingredients, they made pastry. Like, thoughts become things. It doesn't have to be fantastical. Someone says, oh, let's get to the moon. That means you're going to have this massive, whole whole big stuff of metal that's going to have to lift off the ground and take you out of this Earth's atmosphere into space. 
thoughts become things. So if people are doing that, why do you not think, yeah, that you can't be happy? You can't get a partner. You can't get a business. Work needs to be involved in it and patience, persistence and, and consistency. Yes, you've heard stories. People manifested they needed £500 because they were short on rent and they left it, they manifested, boom, £700 came or a thousand more than they came or the exact same amount came, came in time. Some of us was like, cool, right, they've done it, I can do it and then it doesn't happen. I've been there. I sat down and I said, you know what, I'm going to let you go. I said, you know what, I'm going to get this because money's going to come to pay for it. I'm good, I'm fine. Money's going to come and then money don't come. And then this don't come and then I find myself into it. And I'm like, no, things are going to happen. Because in between, kind of slide off, get into the negative state, stop, believe, on a subconscious level, stop believing that thoughts become things to a degree. Or well, the way that I would like it to. Yeah, the negative thoughts become things. <laughs> yeah. But the positive stuff that you want fail to become things. Yeah. But no matter what, how you think, your thoughts become things regardless. Yeah, whether it's the negative or the positive. So when people start doubting, oh, I don't believe in this stuff, it's like, but look at your life. Yeah, when there was a time when you might have been happy and you've been up and going, how were you? How did you live? Did you go up early? Did you exercise? Did your think process, was your thought process different? Did you think of things differently? And if you're a little bit less down and you feel a little bit more miserable and you're thinking more miserable stuff, how's your life now? Are you dragging yourself out of bed in more of a miserable mood? Are like you not taking yourself where you need to go? Is everything such a drag to you? Thoughts become things. How you think about, you start living that life. In my last video, last podcast, I talked about when you actually speak it out. And most of the time we do. We mutter it underneath our breath, breath cursing ourselves, putting spells on ourselves. Cur Every time we say something, it's like putting a curse and a spell on ourselves. My life never works. My life never works. We say it over and over again. And remember, sometimes we say it so automatically, we don't even realise we said it because it's just like an automatic thing like breathing. So let me just break this down in a nutshell for you. Basically, what I'm saying, everything is magical and mystical. We just look around of all the stuff that we're using and the stuff, the places that we go and how we get there everything is magical and mystical because if you take what we have and go go back a thousand years how are they going to look at you they're going to think wow they're going to probably think most of us are witches and wizards simply because just some of the stuff that we have so the world is magical and mystical so next time you want to manifest something and you just think it can't be done it's impossible but you're living in the impossible you're or the impossible made possible yeah, we've got webcams, phones, computers, all of it. I've named them over and over again. So if those things can happen, then you can manifest happiness. You can manifest money. You can manifest stuff. Yeah, I mean, part of the problem sometimes we do get into our desperate state and, you know, we get frustrated and everything. But if you keep believing, keep in your head, but I'm living in a manifested world, things that would, would have deemed impossible or magic to people a thousand years ago yeah are nothing to us now so what is stopping me from manifesting the life that i want apart from me anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this podcast i hope this is find you in a good mood put you in a good mood make you think a little bit more about your life and remember you are magical you're living in a magical mystical world we're living amongst stuff that people in a thousand years might not have thought would ever be possible have a good day and stay blessed